Chapter 20, The Days Ahead Kino Amerk The next events that followed were hard to explain. I understood that Piper was grieving her father's loss, so she was always sour and cranky. Most of the time, she would snap at Mayo and me. Well, for the most part, it was Mayo she was mad at. I decided to keep my mouth shut because Piper was mourning. I gave her a few weeks to return to normal, but a month had passed, and she was as angry as ever. During this time, the Nivens and the remaining rebels practiced and honed their skills. In a few days, we would begin the journey to Canela and declare war against the Emperor. All I could hear were the clashing of wooden swords, the thunk of the arrows, and the swishing of the javelins as they were released in the air. As for myself, I continued practicing my powers. Even though Grandpa was no longer with me, I stuck to my schedule as my way of honoring him. I made sure not to falter and kept up with my tasks all the time to ensure that I could rely on my power when I needed it the most. Today, Mayo was sitting beside me while I prepared for my next practice. He was chattering about the last dragon's egg. Do you remember Aminoros? He said. He's the reason why I'm more certain that there's a dragon egg. He practically changed the topic when Dogen asked him about it, as though just speaking about it was already an aberration from what they vowed to protect. We have a different task. As the chief hunter said, we will fight against the emperor so we must forget about the dragon's egg. It's not important anymore if the emperor is no longer looking for it. That only means that if we beat him to it, then all the more that he'll be on the losing end, Mayo insisted. To this, I laughed. The emperor? On the losing end? That must have been the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Oh, will you please shut up? If you want to go to Karisthea and chase the dragon's egg, then leave. No one's asking you to stay. Piper yelled, catching both of us by surprise. She had been quiet for most of the day that I had forgotten she was with us before her outburst. Moon turns ago, Mayo would have pouted and cried, but it seemed like he had grown up too. He slumped his shoulders and frowned, but he did not cry. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying that perhaps it would be a great opportunity to do it, especially now that the Emperor is no longer looking for it, Mayo explained. I'm tired of having you around. Piper shouted. Everywhere I go, you're there. You're always trailing after Kino. And it just annoys me so much. Piper, he's my best friend. Of course, he will always be around, just like you. I also want to be with you all the time, I explained. And then, to my astonishment, Piper broke into sobs. His father killed my father. Do you know that the General Elder Man referred to as General Renner Kolo? How can I not get tired of Mayo's presence when every time I look at him, I see his father's murderous face? Mayo was dumbfounded. He kept quiet but stood up and turned around to leave. He then glanced back at us. If my father hadn't killed your father in that battle, wouldn't it have been your father who killed mine? There's a reason they say that all is fair in war. When you engage in war, whatever the outcome has already been consented to by both parties. If you can't understand that, or stand having me around, then I will go. Mayo looked at Piper for a long time, but when she said nothing, and her cries only got worse, Mayo turned around and left. I did not exactly know what to say. I sat there and tried putting my arm around Piper, but because she was angry, she pushed me away and ran all the way back to her tent. Mayo Kolo Stupid Piper is being stupid again, I thought. I was caught off guard with what she said, but how can I make it up to her? How? Was it I who killed her father? Besides, this is war. People die on the battlefield. There's no reason to be so mad at me. Is there? Anyway, I know when I am not wanted. I will go to Karasthea and continue searching for the last dragon's egg. If Piper doesn't want me here, I don't want to be here too. I will go as far as I can just to be away from stupid Piper. I hope Dogen will go with me. Fat chance that Kino will go with me. Ha! Since we reunited, all he wanted to do was stare at Piper's face. I am so close to throwing a fit at our situation. And this, 
Piper yelling at me even though I did nothing wrong, is the last straw. Quila didn't want to go with me either. Goami was still sick. She was being taken care of by Lady Amaya, but she has not gone out of the tent since we got here. Her hair has started to grow back, thank God. And Kino, well, I did not even bother to ask him. If Miro were here, perhaps he would have said yes if I asked him to join me. But it doesn't matter. Dogen has agreed to go with me. He said that he wanted to find out about the dragon too. He may not be too happy about leaving the Nivens, but seeing that I will go with or without him seemed to have forced him into doing it. And even though I could have told him no, I did not because I was afraid to go on my own. I would sleep on it now. I was hurt, by the way. Hurt that I would be let go of that quickly for something that I did not do. Hey, Kino said. I turned around, surprised to find him here. I'll leave at daybreak tomorrow. I think it's important to look for the dragon's egg. I'm going with you, Kino said, much to my surprise. Really? You're choosing me over Piper? I said. Stop being ridiculous, he said. I used sniffling now, and guess where the emperor is. Karisthea. I said, not surprised at all. So, does that mean that he is out to search for the last dragon's egg again? I don't know. But if we're going to war against him, I think that's where we should go, right? He said. He mumbled something that I didn't quite catch. What's that? I said. I said Piper doesn't want to go, Kino said. I talked to her first and told her that it's where we should go, but the Nivens and the rebels all want to go to Canela. The chief hunter said that if we must start a war against the Empire, it must be at the capital. Our journey has to be kept a secret. I know that Piper won't tell anyone about our plan, but we still have to go early tomorrow, so no one will stop us. I nodded eagerly. Talk about good luck. When I thought my best friend had deserted me, he changed his mind and decided to go with me. The following morning, I was freezing as I stood beside Kino and Dogen. We had been at the meeting place for minutes already, and yet, Kino just wouldn't go, as though he was waiting for something. It's so cold here. Can we leave now? I asked. The moment we start moving, we would indeed feel our body's temperature go up due to the exertion. Kino looked around as though he was searching for something, or someone, and then I finally figured it out. She's not coming, Kino, I said. If you're waiting for Piper, then I'm telling you now. She wouldn't forgive me for the sin my father committed. In her mind, I killed her father. I'm sorry. Kino looked away as though he was trying hard not to cry. And then, after a while, he nodded, picked up his bag, and we started walking. Piper San Diego I rubbed my arms to make the cold go away as I watched Kino, Mayo, and Dogen leave. I hid from above a tree so Kino or the other two would not see me. Yesterday, he told me about the journey, and he asked me to go with them. I wanted to, but I am not sure if I could be in Mayo's company just yet. Kino said that if I came here today, that meant that I had forgiven Mayo for his father's sin. He said that I must not forget who Mayo was to me. That before we were even friends, Mayo had saved my life already. And that was true. Kino went away thinking that I had yet to forgive Mayo. That is not quite accurate. I am here because I think I finally understand that it was not Mayo's fault. I just need more time to mourn my father first. Mm -hmm.